Um, all right, so we're gonna open the rec meeting. Today is March 2nd, time is 7.35. We have in um, membership right now, myself, Julie Lee, and then you guys can say your name. Mark Adams. Beth Christensen. All righty, and we have two other members that may be joining us, maybe not. We'll see as time goes on. We are still Zoom. Oh, can you see me? Oh, Carrie's coming on, hold on. Um, Carrie? Yeah, she's coming. Where? I don't, oh wait, it's, I don't see her. Oh, yes, let me promote her. Promote her. I see somebody. Okay. She'll be coming now, is she there? Carrie, you on now? Ah, uh, yes. Your camera's just off, that's all. We can't see you. Hi, there Carrie. she is. Oh, we can't hear you. There we go. I made it. <laughs> Yay. All right. There awesome. she is. We just started <laughs> anyways. What's up, Carol? How you doing? You know, just running around children, you know, place to place. <laughs> I know. It's like we're taxis. I know. I just dropped Liv off at skiing, and then I have to go back later tonight to grab her. That's mm -hmm. good, right? But it's all right. It's fun. And then you just really <laughs> want them to get their license, but then when they get their license, <laughs> they're shitless, right? Yeah. So they're like, oh. Everything. I got two back to back. One's like taking its time. The other one can't wait. Right, right, right. Exactly. Beth, you know, you have enough. I do. Now. I do. Right. Um, all right. So, okay. So we're still zooming um, per recommendation of the select board. Hoping to get back to in-person soon. Um, is still a mandate in our town buildings with the exception of the school. Um, the board of health is supposed to meet last night. Um, but they canceled their meeting, so we still have the mask mandate in effect. Um, and I suspect whenever that gets lifted, then we'll probably be able to go back to in person. Um, all right, so on the agenda, we have some bills to pay. So I finally got the invoices from um, Chase Portable Toilets. I mean, they're so past due. I don't even know how these do business. This is from October. Okay, we have one October to November, November to December, and December to January. I don't mean that. September to October, November to December. Um, so the total amount is $800. I, I don't know. Do you guys want to hear the... So October nope. to November, $320. September to October was... And then November to December was much smaller because it was a smaller... Um, they weren't there as long, um, which was 160 and Can you tell me what was September to October again, please? September to October was um, 320. 320? Yeah. Okay. And You're so breaking I, don't, I don't quite know how this shook out because I was keeping track of that time when they took one off and then they had to put one back because I didn't want us to get charged for that amount. Mm -hmm. But we had a total of four on the site the whole time, except for that time when one went off and one was not there, and then we went down to three. But regardless of that, they somehow have only charged us for three the whole time. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't know why they did that. I, I think it was just an error on their end. And we're just going to roll with it. So yep. $800 is what we have to pay them. So if someone wants to make a motion for that. I motion to uh, approve payment to them. Perfect. And someone second. Second it. All right. And then we do all in favor. <laughs> so I'll say aye. I'm in favor. Uh, aye. 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 Julie, how long is it going to take us for us to get that on our own without you having to prompt us? Get what? <laughs> Like there's just the process of that. I feel like every time you're like, someone has to make a motion. And... No, I, I don't do <laughs> do any, any <laughs> meeting, I mean, same way. Because you never know if the person's stopping <laughs> talking. So yeah, yeah. I'll, cut slack. I'll cut you some slack. All right. So we also finally got the um, invoice from the basketball hoops. Those finally got done. Oh, so good. this is the first time I've ever dealt with the basketball hoops getting repaired. Um, and it's, it's, it's lofty. The cost is three thousand dollars. Wow! This is the estimate, right? What's that? This is the estimate. No, this is the invoice. They did oh, the, the invoice. Work okay. And it. Now, what that means, though, is all four basketball hoops now can be raised and lowered without incident, right? Um, 
I believe, according to these guys, that work has never been done in that gym since that gym's been put in. They've repaired two of the hoops, but they've never done the full repair kit. Wow. So that kind of sucks. That's a big hit. Um, mm -hmm. I want to see if basketball, basketball is going to make a contribution anyway, just like soccer does and baseball does. Um, and we're going to talk about that, the usage of fees. Um, but I want to see if basketball can contribute a little bit more than just the Something like um, Link help it pay for that? Could Link? Yeah. You know, I don't think so because I think Link does more of like, um, you know, educational stuff. Like buses to field trips and <clears throat> yeah, and things like it, that. You know, it would be helping with um, gym class. Yeah, but mm. the issue is, and Deb Draper told me a lot a while ago, she does not use the basketball hoops. Oh, well, that went go over so well. I don't really understand, but thanks, Deb. I mean, look at look, <laughs> look at look at how much they gave us for the Gaga pit. You think they're going to need the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, true. Good point. Very good point, Carrie. But they have it. Yeah, they sure do. Right. You know, Don't they do more fundraising every day? <laughs> right. We, well, I could also ask, um, I mean, I know the school is tight, tight, tight with money anyways. Yeah. Um, you know, they don't have, they don't have any, any extra at all. Um, I mean, I think basketball could throw in. I think basketball is walking in. I think Rick said we're almost at 4,000 walking into next season which yeah. is a good amount to walk in with. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to pay a lot for the uniforms and all that stuff, but I, I feel like we could make a thousand dollar, I'm saying this, Rick's gonna have a seizure, but I feel, I feel like we could make a thousand dollar contribution and then it would offset that. So Rex only paying maybe two. That's a nice yeah. chunk. That'd be nice. Right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah. basketball uses it. Right. Most. Yeah, we sure. should. absolutely. And it's not something we're going to be paying year over year. This is, this, you know, we're going to be good on those for a while, as long as we maintain them. Mm -hmm. So that's okay, on hold for now. What's that? So that invoice is on hold for now? No, I say we pay it. Okay. And then what we'll do is I will talk to basketball, which is me, which is Rick, who's downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say I basketball should pay <laughs> that contribution, you know, which I, I think is fair. And, and I think we're in a good situation with the school because we, m most facilities, you rent the space, right? Boylston does it that way. It's everywhere you rent the space, nobody gets it for free. We're in a situation where we don't rent the space from the school, but Mr. Campbell just allows us to use it with the understanding that we upkeep, you know, the, the gym. And it's really not that much it's the floor. And then this ball up got us this time. But had we done this gradually, we, you yeah. know, had we done one a year, we yeah. wouldn't be paying $3,000. You know what I mean? This is just unfortunate. This happened this year, this, like this. So my, my recommendation is we pay this out of our okay. savings. We have 22000 in there. We pay it out of our savings. And then when basketball makes their $1,000 contribution, which is, I can't, Firm, but I'm, I might have to make an extra nice dinner, <laughs> um, and then and then that money will go back into that that savings. Okay. All right. All right. So someone has to make a motion for three thousand and twenty-five dollars to pay for the hoops. I'll make a motion for three thousand twenty-five dollars to pay for the hoops. I second that. All right. Great. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Hi. Hi. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Um, guys, we're moving right along. All right. We have to quickly, this is really quick. We'll just quickly talk about the ARPA funds. Um, I did submit on behalf of REC. Um, I submitted for irrigation, a well on the commons, and for the playground. They have um, roped off the playground. Did you guys see that? Yeah. I haven't been down. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's roped off. I guess it's not playable. Um, they don't want anyone on it. So we have to get the ball rolling on that because we need a playground 
Julie, even if we just put down wood chips, I mean, that's enough to get rid of the, the caution tape, right? You know, I don't know. I, I know, I know it. I know actually, Mark, that's a good point. I know the fall, fall distance has a lot to do with hazard on the playground. So I think you're right. If wood chips were there, it would raise the depth there. So the fall level wouldn't be so. Um, yeah, I mean, just for like, you know, for the spring season with b- baseball and soccer, it's going to look so trashy if our oh my God, playground's all caution taped up. Like it was like a crime scene or something. <laughs> Well, we don't you want it what? to be one, Mark. <laughs> well, you know what? That other playground across the street, that went up in a weekend. Right? That was like super fast. Lickety split. So, yeah. And that was, I think Laura said 115,000. Um, so, you know. And we're just repairing this one, right? Maybe, or? It's in pretty, uh, you know, I think I, I would love to to keep it because it's the dedication playground. Mm-hmm. Um, but some of those structures are they're 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 in, they're in they need to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so let me ask you, Julie before, I'm sorry, Julie, before we get too far, where what are we reaching out to? What fund? Uh, oh, it's called ARPA. A-R-P-A. And that's the American Relief. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, Sorry. No, no, no. It's, a, uh, it's the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. Okay. Yep. All so right. it was a ridiculous amount of money. It was $350 billion in pandemic related aid for state and local governments was given out. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can't remember how much Berlin was awarded. It's significant. I feel like it was, I feel like it was close to a million, I think. That could be a lie. Maybe it's 500,000. I can't remember. Either way, it's still. It's a lot of money. It was a lot of money. Oh yeah, Berlin's total, $968,000. Wow. Yep, and it's split up 484,000 received to date in 2022. Wow. So that's why they were seeking community input on what to do with this money, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of yeah. different wrote in. So now I guess they're going to take that feedback and then kind of go from there. But I think the playground is definitely a priority on that list because the playground is a safety hazard right now. So hopefully if we can get ARPA funds for that, say whatever, for 115000 I say we just rip and replace. And then maybe we do an actual dedication board, you know, keep the bricks there that people donated to have the mm-hmm. things. There. If, if there are structures that can stay, we'll, we'll leave them. You know, someone will come in and inspect and say, this is fine. I think that climbing thing, that looks pretty fine. Mm-hmm. The other climbing one that goes up is all rusted out and that needs to go. The yeah, swing will to stay. I don't know. Someone will have to come in and do an inspection. We'll keep what we can keep. Mm-hmm. And then place what we I, I'd say rather than I don't know what do you guys think uh, yeah I know I feel like sounds good. I play I play there with like my youngest all the time and I feel like I never thought it was like that bad but I mm-hmm. had to look at it from a different eye and just say like kind of look at each structure and assess it but my like recollection is like I think it's okay for at least a few more years but I mean I don't know I'll, I'll look at it yeah okay all right <laughs> Yeah, and Mark, I think you have a good eye for that and some expertise in that area. So maybe, and I know Fred went down there and took a bunch of pictures too, and he thought it was it was in really rough shape. I think his stuff was all just like around the the uh, wood chips, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I love the wood chips and a lot of base structures. He noted were questionable. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll I'll look at it, but um... all right. But if we can get the funds to do it, you know what I mean? I know, but like, what's the deal with the, ded- who is it, who is it dedicated to? Do you know, are they still in town? Um, I don't know if that family's still in town. I know it was a pretty tragic story. Uh, I think the little child drowned in a pool. Um, yeah, young, cause that playground is for little, little kids, like two to five. Right, right Carrie, aren't there different groups of playgrounds? Like- 
two to yes. five, five to 12. Yeah. So yeah. that playground's not supposed to be like a, you know, the one across the street that we have with the big climb structures. It's mm -hmm. just supposed to be for the little guys. That's why yeah. the play structures are a lot smaller, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. But I, I do think it's a good idea to keep, to keep, to keep it as a dedication playground, maybe with a more visible sign, much like yeah, definitely. More mm -hmm. visible sign, right? Yeah, I had no idea it was a dedicated playground. I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't either until I knew that from the previous rec committee chair, because he mm -hmm. don't he knew the story and he told us yeah. the story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can see, we can see what we are even awarded. And I don't know when the ARPA funds come out, mm -hmm. when that, you know, when we can even get that money to do this project. So if that's the case, Mark, if that money's not coming for a while, I think your suggestion of let's just order the wood chips, blast yeah. those in there, fill it up, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and then go from there. So, so when we, we do this ARPA fund uh, request, are we doing these separately, the irrigation, the well, and the playground? Because so we don't know when the money's coming and we don't know how much we're going to get. Correct. So basically, um, everyone submitted it on a Google form just what the project is, why you wanted it, if you had an estimate, um, and that's it. And then the board takes it and they're gonna do whatever with it. And then I don't know how that information is gonna get passed back to groups or community people. I, I don't know all that. I'm sure we'll get an email or something that explains that. Mm -hmm. um, but again, the time's ticking on that, right? right. So uh, I, what a soccer start, what, April 9th? Is that what Laura said? I don't even yeah. know. You know what I mean? So, yeah, first game's April 9th. Wow. So maybe, the you know, the best mm -hmm. thing maybe that we can do right now is how about if we get an inspection on it and then get the wood chips? Okay. Well, we'll talk to Margaret in the meantime and find out about the ARPA funds, or I can talk to Peg and find out what the process is for being awarded that, the, that money for those projects. Okay. What, who am I Thank talking you. to? <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Peg about the ARPA. Unless she's even on here. I don't even know who's on this thing. Let me let me check in and see if we have any guests. <laughs> um no, guys, it's just us. Nobody's peeking, huh? No, I don't think so. I'm not really good at that. Anybody? All right, but also that's fine. I can check in with Peg about that because I can let her know we're starting. We want that at least open. But as far as I know, if they think it's a hazard, it's closed off. So you're gonna ask Peg if we can kind of get by with just the wood chips and an inspection for now? Yep, and an inspection. Okay. Julie, who made the call that it was like unsafe and taped it off? I'm guessing that was highway. Seems like well, a, when I when I when I, I, when I well, when we applied for um for CPA money mm -hmm. for for the playground, um I had to do the write up, and in the write up, I did say that the there's parts of that playground that are that are a hazard, and it be it's a liability mm -hmm. for the town, mm -hmm. and that's a red flag, you know, phrase. Um, and then once the I think Margaret or that they heard about that. I don't think they realized because they're not down there. They don't have kids. You know what I mean? Um, once they realized and heard that it was a liability, I, I believe any structure in town that is a liability has to be shut down until it's fixed. Yeah. I mean, what about the tennis courts? That was a liability mm -hmm. for a while. Very good point, Mark. <laughs> Very good point. Yeah. I'm saying it looks, it looks ridiculous down there with caution tape. So. Yeah. I agree. I don't like the book either. So, all right, let me talk to Peg and see if we can get away with putting some filling I bet up the wood chips. chips will fix that. If they okay. always, every year they have to refill the wood chips. Mm -hmm. Yep. And maybe we up. could look into. Um, I guess is that something that we should get inspected once a year? Yep. Or every couple of years, or. Every playground should be inspected once a year. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could do like, I guess, all the playgrounds together maybe, or are some of those belonging to the school? Well, that's a good idea. They do belong to the school, but we have a contract with the school with the geese mm -hmm. that they yeah. do 
um, and we do some, so we could partner with the school and do a playground inspection. That's a good idea, Beth. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should see how much it's going to cost to do everything all together because they're already going to be there. You know what I mean? Correct. Okay, so all right. Get them all done together, just get an idea how much it's going to cost and kind of build that into our yearly, you know, billing. Yep, yep, very good idea. Okay. Smart. And that's something I think that REC could assume, you mm -hmm. know, when we were talking to finance, like what are going to be things that we can assume? I feel like that that's something we we could assume no what do you guys think should that be town or should that be us uh that could be us i guess because that it's like something the kids use i guess it's mm -hmm. like a yeah structure. okay and um, i think that'll help us stay ahead of anything too um you know instead of letting things build you know like call. for instance the basketball hoops right right for instance if you know i don't know how that works but on that idea that way, you know, we wouldn't have a whole huge thing. We might be able to fix things as we go kind of thing. I think that's yes, smart. Yes. Very smart, yep. All right, all right. So I'm gonna handle the playground. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. As I'm laid up, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, and then as far as the irrigation and the well, I mean, that would be a game changer. I don't think we're gonna get it. Awesome. But, Changer. However, something to think about because I've been looking up on um, CPA fund uh, projects in the state and several communities have used CPA money to get irrigation on their grounds, on their um, recreational really? funds. Yep. Okay. So definitely a project that could be used for um, CPA. Um, that would be awesome. Right? And then yes. Piggyback that is um, hopefully the town is going to assume the cost of the rebuild for South Commons, right? Getting that that front area all leveled out nice. Mm -hmm. You know, Clinton's fields are so nice. It looks so mm -hmm. beautiful. It's grass and it's gorgeous, um, but they maintain the shit out of it. So that's why it looks so good, yeah. right? Yeah. But if we can get to a point where our you know, fields are really maintained, people will rent them. You know, we right. will have soccer clubs coming in to rent them. So it's a win-win, mm -hmm. both the irrigation. Um, but anyway, so that's down the line. All right, basketball courts. Um, I Mark, I think I put you on that email with June and Margaret. Yeah. Um, so, so Margaret's been out for a little bit. Um, she was on medical leave and she's still out. I guess she's working somewhat remotely. Uh, she's coming back, but not in the building, I understand. So Margaret is our procurement officer, which means that she is in charge of writing the, I believe, the request for, for proposal when we put this out to bid, or at least she signs off on it because I don't, none of us know how to do that because yeah. we're just, we're just regular people <laughs> doing volunteer <laughs> stuff all the time. Um, so they did, June did say that she um, she and Margaret did speak about the courts, so it's on the radar. Um, I certainly don't want to press Margaret while she's in recovery. Um, so this is tough, right? Because there's a project in limbo. So the bottom line is it's, it's we have to move on it because we want the courts usable, right? And that was the plan, right, Mark? We wanted them, what, spring? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We wanted to already have mm -hmm. bids in. and Yeah, right. Up, you know? Right. So we can set the timeline as far as how long we keep that window open. You know, it's usually two weeks for that bidding process, I think. Two weeks. But if we want to shorten it to one week, we can do that. That's, that's on us to do. Um, okay. So maybe... Maybe I'll wait until the end of the week to hear anything back in June. And if not, then I'll reach out again to June and say, hey, you know, we want to, we, we need some guidance here because we want we need to move on this. Yeah. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to kind of push if we need to, you know? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll reach out to June again. And I know, I know that you they're in a really tricky right now. Um, but I also know Mary's a wealth of information, too. She is, yeah. She really is. Like, 
think once you learn how to do it, you can do it. We just have no idea how to do it. So Right. And I know I reached out to Greg, who wrote the RFP for the Wellness Trail, and he's coming back into town this week. And I asked him, you know, his brain. About, not that I want to write this on level because I don't, but if there's no one else that can do this right now, we have to, you know, we have to move. We have to move. So we have to just do what we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, so that's the status on that. Uh, and then um what else do i have oh my god you guys i think that's all oh no the fuel oh, eh. field oh. okay yep. <laughs> all right so i basically looked around at the surrounding towns on what they charge um and some of them are pretty i i found that the simpler it is the better it is there's some towns that charge like 70 dollars an hour and then for the first three hours and then hour four it's an extra twenty five dollars an hour five it's an extra and I, look, I think that's too much to manage I don't think it's worth it I think we keep it simple and this is the only the one that I sent you guys was just for the sports so just sports organizations and sports groups that want to rent the fields like mm -hmm. that guy that wants to play on Sunday mornings with his soccer group on the backfield mm -hmm. perfect great opportunity to bring in a little bit of income it's not going to break the bank, but who cares? It's still, it's still something, right? So before, um, you know, we were charging soccer, you know, way too much. It was, I think we were charging 175 a team. We just threw that figure out. I think Chris Casperson endorsed that number because soccer had a pretty good, you know, chunk of money behind them. But they're paying out to a thousand different organizations too. And um, I think in good faith, we have to not charge our youth programs a lot of money because they're not breaking the bank either, right? Right. So that's why, you know, I, I put on here and we can discuss this, but I put, and this was what another town also is doing. I think Northboro does this. $75 a field per season for your for our in-town groups. So however many fields soccer makes, you know, mm -hmm. if they have more kids in the program and they may need more fields, then they'll pay an additional $75. And I think that's pretty reasonable. So how many fields does soccer have? Maybe five, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, something like that. If that... So that I think that's reasonable. What's that? Three hundred fifty bucks. So they won't be going over seven hundred dollars for this for the year. What do you guys no, I think? I like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. That makes Sounds sense. Good. That does make and sense. Then, and then baseball would be the same thing. Seventy five dollars for the little league field. Seventy five dollars if softball uses it for the softball field. And then if baseball uses the other field, I don't know what to do about that. I don't even know. Does baseball use that as a game field? I don't think. They might, yeah, but it should just be seventy five dollars a field, and that's for the season, right? Yeah, for season, exactly. Okay. Um, and I gave this to the select board as a rough draft. I said we're discussing it tonight, but just so they have an idea. And then for non residents, you know, like this guy, then it's seventy bucks an hour, which I think is reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea, but that sounds good. Yeah, do I? But <laughs> comparatively, it seemed that that was that was that was reasonable. Okay. Um, we will get into a situation with pickleball this year because um, you know people are just going to want to be on those courts, and that's tricky. Like, if it's just residents coming down to play, it's fine. But then you get into situations where there's clubs that want to come in, mm -hmm. you know, and rent it out. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I don't really, I didn't really consider the pickleball court or the basketball court when I wrote this up. Like, I don't think anyone's going to rent the basketball court for an hour. No. I mean, you'll just play. Mm -hmm. But the pickleball, when they do that, you have to pay. But it's, I don't know, five bucks or whatever it is. It's something like that. Because it's such a popular sport. So they have very well organized it. You know, nine and 11, it's ages, you know, 30 to 40. And between, you know, 11, 12, it's whatever age. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, what were you going to say? 
I don't know. We can we can figure that out, but I think this is a good starting point. What do you guys mm -hmm. think? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, the only thing I just was wondering um, yeah. is just on, for some reason, I don't know, maybe it was just me, maybe it wasn't me, but on the on the pages that you sent us, I got the first page good. Uh, second page is fine, but that third page, it's like all overlapping itself. Right oh, now. really? Yeah, so I just didn't know if there was anything important on there. So the part that's for the committee, right? Um, hold on one second, because there we go. I lost it for a second, but I got it back. It's for, so it's after the, oh, come on. Sorry, it keeps dropping down on me. No, that's okay. I keep losing it. I'm usually pretty good. But okay, so working, on, working on a laptop is hard sometimes. I know, I know. All right, I got it, I got it, okay. So it looks like Berlin Recreation Committee only. Is there a page yeah. titled that? That's correct. Okay. So that's what this is. And it kind of looks like it was like doubled over on itself. So I can't quite read it. And I just All right. know what was on here. So this is basically after they submit the applicant request to us, then we fill this out endorsing whether we accept or not. So it just says the date it's received, whether we grant or not, the fee that's charged, the check number that they enclose if they okay. have an insurance certificate and that they receive the field rules and they've signed off on those too. Okay. All right. That's I just, like I said, I wasn't sure what it was. So I wanted to be sure. sure. Make sure that comes out clear. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Um, all right. And that's that. Um, all right, guys. I feel like that, you know, we did good there. We are going to have to discuss um, the Easter egg hunt. Ooh. Um, Ooh, fun. There's, right. Super fun. Yes. Easter's not like April 17th. So I think we have some time. Already? I don't have to do it this meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, but we should keep it, you know, maybe, maybe we ought to, before we do, before we leave tonight, just set maybe a tentative date for that. For the meeting okay. to discuss it or for the <laughs> Easter egg For the <laughs> actual hunt, Easter egg hunt. Okay. Um, and then we can set a meeting date. Okay. And I think that Rick said he would dress up like the Easter Bunny. And oh my God! Oh, nice. yes. <laughs> Especially if he's going to go to fish in a few days after that, he could definitely hop around. <laughs> Harry, that's actually a very good point. You're right. He's going away to fish. That he will be the Easter Bunny. Yes. <laughs> um, we could also get Bob. Bob Holmes. Bob Holmes. Oh, I he's heard he would bounce around. With the turkey. So good. So, okay. so right. would you be, um, like, you know who we should reach out to? We should reach out to the Lions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you know what that would be fun. Yep. Yes. With them for Halloween. Yep. They're a great group to work with. And we can also reach out to the seniors, too. Because the Easter egg yeah. right, hunt on Saturday, right? The 16th? Well, the problem with Saturday is soccer. Oh, right. What about the afternoon? I believe there's generally a one o'clock game. Okay. I don't know the soccer schedule yet. All right. Mm. Well, let's wait. Do like four o'clock. What'd you say, Mark? You could do like four o'clock. That's true. Yeah. Three to five, have a little get together. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do, okay. April, is school vacation week that week? I think it usually is, isn't it? Oh, well, yes, yes. Vacation, like school of the 15th is a Friday and then vacation starts. Yeah. So they may not even have a game on the right? Right, because a lot of families travel. Right. Especially for so, all right, let's, oh, a lot of families travel, so maybe that's not, let's right. just, if, like we do it the weekend mm. before. That's a good idea, Carrie. Oh, the 9th? Yeah, I'm just curious if like thing. families would travel, you know, for Easter yep. weekend. Some people take off on Friday and start their vacation and mm -hmm. travel for Easter. I didn't even think of Either that. Either way, I mean, I'm here. But you're right. So I... Okay, so you're yeah. April 9th. What do you guys think about that? That's a week before Easter? I think that sounds good. All right. Yeah, because yeah, Easter is the 17th. So yeah, that would be good. I wonder what 
North Road does it? If they do it the weekend of Easter or the weekend before? Because they get a huge turnout. I yeah, know. They I have a lot more kids than we do. <laughs> and if yeah. families go away. <laughs> I know. I know. We won't uh, have any kids. Do so you want why to they... see the soccer schedule and see if it's the, we can do the 9th or the 16th or even the 10th? Oh, that's, it's Palm Sunday, but I don't think that matters to people. They can go to church and then. I don't even know what that is. It's awful. <laughs> I went to Catholic school. Well, I went to Catholic mom. school. Harry knows what it is. You good Catholic. Um, so that so so the first first game of soccer is eight nine. Oh, it is. Okay, forget yeah. it. It's not metal in that. Okay, well, but we what time? Hmm? Okay. I was gonna say, but what time did they do the soccer till? I know we could do it at four. You're right. And we like, could yeah, do it on like, Sunday on the tenth. Yeah. Are there any games on the 10th? No, just uh, in the backfield, nothing. Do you think people will want to come out on a Sunday rather than a Saturday? Or which day do you think would be better? Really matters. First day, Saturday. Mark, what were you going to say? Oh, I said I don't think it matters. Hmm. Well, let's look at the schedule. If nothing is booked on the 16th, we could do the 16th. If you, unless you think people are going to travel. No, you know, I like they the might idea travel this year. Before. Sorry, Julie. I like the idea of doing it before because there's so many. How many Easter egg hunts can you do in a weekend? Right. <laughs> right. I mean, little kids do that. All that candy. You know, you do one at your house. You do one. Comments a lot. All right, right, let's say that. That sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll say the ninth or tenth. I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk. We'll find out the soccer schedule first, and then determine if, it, okay. if you know we pull off. Okay, let me ask you this: Should we just do an Easter egg hunt, or should we do like some games? I think an egg hunt is perfect. Is plenty enough because just egg. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then they can just go and play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need to do games and all that. I think like it's such a okay. special treat for them to get an egg with like some goodies, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree. I agree on that. All right, and great. Then, you know, and talk to the Lions Club; they might yep. have an yep. egg. Lions and seniors. Uh, Lions and the seniors. All right, I'll reach out to both of them and see if they want to partner and get all together. Okay. I think it's a great idea. Um. All right, do you guys have anything else? No, nope. oh, thank you. No, we were productive. We did an awesome meeting this week. Do we want to plan our next meeting now? Yes, good idea, Beth. <laughs> Otherwise, we don't get it done. I know it's so hard. It's terrible. Um, Let's see. Um, so, if we want to do this whole thing with the Easter egg hunt, we should probably have something toward the end of this month. Yeah, you're right. Because yep. then we'll have to plan to get together to fill the eggs. Yep, and send out the flyers. Yep, and do all of that. So you're right. You're right. Good call. What day is right. better for you guys? March is easy for me to open. It doesn't matter. What about you, Carrie? Okay, loser. Carrie, you I mean, she's frozen. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's frozen. She looks like she's sleeping. No, <laughs> oh, she's dead. Carrie, are you alive? <laughs> Poor Carrie. There she is. Oh, she, you're muted again. I got kicked oh, out. Sleep. No, you know what? The internet at this, you know, my new apartment complex is a little spotty. <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep. It's okay. It looked you. like you were sleeping. It was funny. All right. Oh. <laughs> Harry, do so you Mark, oh you don't know baseball right a specific day that's good for you Carrie. Okay. no you know what my life is so cuckoo banana so i'll i'll look at my calendar when you give me some dates. <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah that's true why don't we just plan do you want to just plan the 30th it's a March wednesday 30th. and then if you know things get closer because i know mark you have baseball and all that and yeah. that's your right really kids. i just have life <laughs> So, right. If things, you know, change, we just have to remember the 48 hour thing. Right. Okay. So what time do you want to meet? What's, what's a good time? Let's try that. Oh it's yeah. Say, say, sorry. I just cut you off. 
Oh, I feel like 7.30 is good. 7.30? Sure. You guys want to... Yeah, I, that's fine. I can... Um, that's perfect. Do you want to do in person or in or at Zoom? I mean, in Zoom. Whatever. You, you know what I'm trying to say. You mean Zoom? I hate Zoom. I, say I hate Zoom, but it's convenient because you're home. Yeah. Right. But I hate it because it's all in and out and frozen. Well, I, mean, I don't mind. I have to be down at the town hall anyway at 7.30, so I can either zip up with my kids at 7.30 or just Zoom. Yeah, I Wednesdays mean, I are... Um, lifted by then. I, I would hope so. But who knows? Things could go bad. I think so. So why don't we try? Do you guys want to try in person? I don't have little ones, so and Rick's here, so it's up to you guys. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I don't have little ones, so in person is good for me. All right, in person, and this will be strictly to discuss the um, hunt Easter egg. Okay. All right, and maybe I can see. I'll invite um, Lions and Senior some seniors to the meeting. Okay. okay. Um, oh, great, Terry and Julie, put on your calendars um, to reach out. I would say about the 25th to get our Zoom and then get this posted with the 48 hour notice. Okay, I'm gonna put that okay. in my calendar back. <laughs> I love it, so I don't mess it up. No, but we're not doing it constantly. What? Oh, we're not Zooming, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so, so sorry, you're post, absolutely right. But I have to post it. Right? Yeah, yeah you have to post, post it. Actually, we do, actually, Beth, we do still have to book a, book a room now, so that's a good call. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put that in my calendar, good call, okay. All right, Thank and you that's on top of I love it. I'm marking it on my calendar right now that we have right, a meeting. Yep. Right. Alert. Perfect. All right, guys. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Now we Perfect. just have to make a motion to adjourn our meeting. Motion oh, to adjourn wow. the meeting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> some seconds. All right, and all in favor. Aye. Aye. All right, guys. Thanks so much. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay. See you. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.